What's up? Welcome to another edition of Breaking Booms. We got a big one. We got a big fish today. Monday, June 24, 2024. Buckeyes land four star defensive end Zion Grady out of Alabama. Hello. Going down south, deep down south. Buckeyes get the commitment from the big man. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> Ohio State lands its third commitment in the last four days. Got our guy BP Miller back on Friday. Um, then uh, Jake Cook on Sunday. Now Zion continues the Alabama to Ohio trend. The best in Alabama go to Ohio, apparently. So let's talk about him. Big man coming in at 6'4". He's an edge rusher. Uh, he's your weak side defensive end. 6'4", 235. Uh, out of Enterprise, Alabama, shout out my guy Johnny C from down in that neck of the woods. Uh, he's a high four star. Zion is a nine six five one, nationally ranked sixty six in the class. Number six edge, number six player in Alabama. Had the offers from everybody. Was committed to Alabama. Uh, decommitted back on January seventeenth. So shortly after Nick Saban um, resigned. And uh, he's been he's visited Alabama, uh, Auburn a lot. So uh, let's talk about him here. He's a consensus top 100 player in all the recruiting rankings. Um, one of the best out of the state of Alabama. Uh, so this is a huge commitment and a win. This should be remembered as a win over Alabama and Auburn. Both uh, they both were in heavy for for uh, Zion. So. The Buckeyes beat out Auburn, Bama, Florida State, Miami, Tennessee. All of them had him on, on campus for visits. So um, we have a recent scouting report from June 6th. Position verse is a position versatile pass rusher capable of playing multiple roles in an odd front that shows the ability to win consistently with his first step explosiveness and initial quickness off the line of scrimmage. Verified at 6'4", 225 in February, Grady possesses a long lower half in addition to excellent arm, arm length arm length at 34 inches that allows him to utilize his length, which we love, and athleticism effectively off the edge and on the interior. He's a quick, quick twitch mover. Uh, the Alabama native relies heavily on his first step, foot and body quickness to gain leverage on opposing offensive linemen while flashing the speed to power ability to illustrate his physical pass rush potential on the next level. Uh, although he's very productive at the high school level, Grady will be more likely need a year or two to develop physically in college. Uh, he'll need to see a college weight room before getting a considerable amount of snaps in, in, uh, on campus. Um, he's a high floor prospect that does a lot of things well. Grady projects as a power four multi-year starter at a three, four outside linebacker, or he can develop into a, um, a weak side defensive end that the Buckeyes see him. So he can, he does have the ability to develop into a day two or three NFL draft pick. Um, in 2022, he was the Class 5A Lineman of the Year, totaled 108 tackles, 27 QB hurries, 22 sacks, force fumble, three force fumbles, two fumble recoveries on a team that went 12-2 and two and played for the uh, 5A title. Also blocked three field goals. Then in 2023, had 87 tackles, 24 TFLs, 22 hurries, and 11 sacks with a pick. So uh, Ohio State was the pick for Grady on Monday. The Buckeyes emerged as the favorite during his fir first visit back in early May. Uh, Grady called that visit his best visit, and it was a trip that he called eye-opening. So after that visit, he said, quote, it was really an amazing city. I really got personal time to ask questions and understand what the plan is that they had for me. Um, the visit was very personalized, which helped me understand what Ohio State is about. So uh, learning what Ohio State was all about was the key of his first visit, right? So the biggest piece of the puzzle was 
learning the plan the Buckeyes have for him during this official visit this past weekend. So um, before his visit, he said, well, where do I fit in to the program? And what is the plan they have for me? They've done a great job with the development part. So Zion got his answer. The Buckeyes view him as a weak side defensive end in their traditional 4-3 front. Uh, it's a posi position that he believes fits him perfectly. Uh, he's wasted no time turning into a recruiter for Ohio State as well. Uh, he's working on his close friend, uh, Malik Autry, another Alabama guy, trying to flip him from Auburn. Um, that That's going to be a long recruitment, so that's not going to happen overnight. Um, but Grady and Autry trained together during the offseason. Uh, they visited Ohio State the same weekend back in May. Um, Ohio State made shockwaves when they landed the commitment from Naeem Offord earlier in the cycle out of Alabama. So uh, the Malik Autry recruitment will take a long time and no decisions coming yet. But with the addition of Grady, the uh, number one ranked Ohio State recruiting class now has three defensive linemen committed in this cycle. So uh, Zion Grady joins Zaheer Mathis out of Philadelphia, London Merritt out of IMG by way of Atlanta. And uh, Zion becomes commitment number 19 for the Buckeyes. And that puts us, that should still keep us at number one on average recruit rate, average commit rating. I don't know. There we go. Yeah. Buckeyes are still number one average per commit, 9418 with 19 commits. LSU jumped over Oregon recently. Uh, looks like they got another five star. Uh, 9371 is LSU. It's almost a half point behind us. Oregon, 9329. Uh, Georgia, a 9323. Three. Georgia has 14 commits, so they're coming on. Alabama has 18, so they're keeping pace with us as far as total commits. And Alabama's at a 9301. Uh, Clemson's up there, 9301. And Auburn, a 9143. So quite a dip there between Clemson and Auburn in almost, what, a point and a half. So Buckeyes are still looking good feeling good and uh welcome zion grady into the class this team is getting loaded um i gotta work on the um position coach recruiting tracker big board and uh, see who's in the lead I, I don't know tim walton's definitely first but larry johnson might be second so i'll have that for you soon anyways so i got for you today talk to you tomorrow go bucks <laughs>